few months, literally. All right, now let's get to the main event. How to create great audio products. I've made a fortune with audio products over many years. And even though we have all these other methods of conveying information, audio still sells today. Well, why? Because it's the only medium where you can learn or be entertained while doing something else. You don't see too many people jogging down the street or working out at the gym trying to watch videos on their iPhone, right? They're listening to stuff. Yeah, many are listening to free podcasts like this one, but many are listening to paid information products. So you do what I tell you in this episode, and they could be giving you their money. Now, the first thing I need to emphasize is that you must get it in your head you're going to produce high-quality audio. Now, this doesn't mean you have to spend $100 an hour to go to a studio like I did for my first product. In fact, even though that product is still selling today after 28 years, okay, it's the worst recording I ever did. I was in a tiny sound booth sweating like a pig, very uncomfortable and, and worried every second about making a mistake because the clock was ticking at 100 bucks an hour. This is 28 years ago. Now, you don't have to suffer any of that nowadays. I'm producing way better quality now on my computer for free than I did for $100 an hour then. And I'm going to tell you how to do that in this episode. Again, I want you thinking great quality. See, having poor quality will hurt you in several ways. Audio listeners have a hard enough time listening through earbuds and headphones on, you know, the proverbial trains, planes, and automobiles. If your quality starts out poor and gets worse by the time the listener tries to listen on tiny earbuds, they'll surely not be happy 